what's up hello I hope you all are doing well today I wanted to talk about some of the books that have just been sitting in my collection for quite some time with my all good intent to get to them and not having read them for at least a year or perhaps more and so in the spirit of it still being January and still being you know, I'm on the precipice of a new year, whatever that new year might be bringing us, I was thinking that I might pause and reflect on just some of the books that needed to either just get read or leave the shelf, either because they are not mine or simply because I'm tired of looking at them. And so today I've picked out five books. Is it five? It's five. Five books that I absolutely desperately need to read because they have been on my shelf for a ridiculously long time. So the first book that I have selected is The Last Romantics by Tara Conklin. Now the person who lent this to me over a year ago now um, lent it to me because the author is from the town in which the person who lent it to me lives if that makes sense. And so it's always interesting to read something by someone who's like a, a hometown author uh, of somebody. And so as far as I can tell, this is just a contemporary fiction book about a woman in a New England town, that sort of vein. So, you know, something I'm familiar with being a woman in a New England town. And I guess it's summertime, etc, etc. You can tell I really don't have any idea what this book is about. Uh, but it seems like it will be fast enough to read and I just haven't done it. It's just been sitting around and I've put it off for other things. So this will be on the list this year because I would like to make this go away and give it back to the person who loaned it to me. Next on my list is a nonfiction book that I'm actually looking forward to and it is called The Lighthouse Stevensons by Bella Bathurst and this book was loaned to me two years ago um, by someone who I hope they realize that they should not have ever intended to get it returned to them uh, but there is a note that's in the front that says it's on loan so I should probably read this but this book is about the Lighthouse Stevensons obviously and the Stevenson family in Scotland who were the first to really make serious innovations in the realm of lighthouses like the kind you know that you see in the ocean uh, and that includes notable author I probably have him around here Robert Louis Stevenson perhaps the most famous of all the Stevens actually now that I'm thinking about it, I should read this too I've had this for really 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 I've had this for more than 10 years but the point here is that Robert Louis Stevenson is the most famous of the lighthouse Stevensons uh, and this is just a book where I guess I'm gonna learn about all of the innovations in lighthouse building and probably the lenses that are in lighthouses and hopefully a little bit about the family uh, but I should read this so that I can send it back to Scotland because this is not my book or is it TBD so there will be some other nonfiction that I'll read this year as part of some work that I'm doing with Bex uh, for this channel but I wanted to talk about some other fiction that just needs to get needs to get read if you ask me uh, a while ago Bex gave me this collection of Bronte books that she was going to get rid of and so I've decided to choose from that Wuthering Heights because I know a lot about this story but have never actually read it I embarked on it once in the past and did not get very far and so I am going to commit to it particularly because uh, my boss and I are both fans of the Kate Bush song that is about this novel and so we listened to it recently perhaps mm, during work right before the new year and so that has sort of pushed me to be like you know what I need to read this my boss also used to be a high school English teacher so you can see why I had some encouragement here so Wuthering Heights, finally, a classic that I will read. And I really do like classics, uh, so this will be one that I look forward to, I think. Perhaps I'll read this in the summer, just based on the cover and what I know about it that seems like seems like that would be a good choice. Next on my list of things I absolutely need to read, otherwise it's going to be ridiculous, is White Teeth by Zadie Smith. I have had this particular book that I'm holding in addition to a copy of On Beauty, probably since 2012. 
I found them on the side of the road in a box in a Washington DC neighborhood and it just said that they were free. So of course, actually that I'm pretty sure that video is still up if you want to go and, and find the book haul where I talk about these. Every year I look at it and I tell myself, you need to read that. You also need to read On Beauty. I haven't done it. And so in the interest of actually doing that, I'm going to endeavor to read White Teeth this year. This will also change, not very much, but it will change the decor of my flat because Beck's sister gave me this pop chart of the hun like 100 most essential novels uh, a few years ago and I really would like to scratch off White Teeth by Zadie Smith. That's right there at the bottom. So I would like to do that. I would also just like to read the book. So this year is going to be the year that we read White Teeth. I've, I, deemed it and therefore it must be so. So if you want to ask questions throughout the year like, hey, have you read White Teeth yet? That would probably not be a bad idea. And last but not least is Normal People by Sally Rooney. If you've followed us at all in the last year, you've heard me say this next bit dozens of times, but I first heard about this book on NPR and they were doing a book review. And normally when I hear about books that I'm interested in on NPR, I, I go out and I find them. So I borrowed it from the library and then I didn't get to it and I had to give it back. And then months later, I borrowed it from the library again and got to it kind of, and then had to give it back. And then I borrowed it as an audiobook, thinking to myself, you know, this might actually get you to finally make the time for it. I did not. So finally at the library book sale, I bought this copy for a dollar and I said I would rather have it be on my shelf where I've spent a dollar for it bothering me until I finally read it than to just keep getting it from the library and wasting the 21 day period which I can have it where somebody else who could actually bother to read it would be reading it. So it's been sitting with me since, I don't know, probably for a year now. Um, and I have not read it, as you can tell, because it's got all kinds of things on it. That's gross. Anyway, now that there is a, like, television adaptation of this book, and everyone seems to be talking about that still, uh, and comparing this to Conversations with Friends, which I've not read, I would like to, to see what all of the hubbub really is about. I would actually like to read this book. Claire from Claire Reads Books has mentioned uh, sort of the, the Sally Rooney effect or like the Sally Rooney style of books recently. She has a great video that I'll link to about that, um, which I found really super interesting and I don't think that she's wrong. So I would like to see what she is talking about. So I want to see what everybody else is talking about. Also, this just D, I don't know if you can tell from the tone of my voice, but I just need to get this read so that maybe I can give it back to the library and someone else can buy it for a dollar and go through the same experience that I have. So there you have it, five that I guess turned into six books that I absolutely need to read this year because it's ridiculous that I haven't. If you've read any of these, and I guarantee you probably have given the titles of a few of them, please let me know what you think down in the comments. If you have a suggestion for which I should start with, I would be open to those too, so leave those as well. As always, I hope you're having lovely weeks and lovely lives, and we will see you very soon.